Hey everyone and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Bilbum here and we are going to be continuing the Expedition 8 Polestar. We are at phase 3. If you have missed the previous one, there should be a playlist in my channel where you can find the previous phases as well and some other tips and tricks about the Expedition. Now let's first of all check our little Expedition tab. This is phase 3. As you can see we have a whole bunch of new patches to unlock and of course as usual we need to read the log but before we can read the log we need to travel to the system of rendezvous tree we also have to build a few different rooms we'll have to shoot down 16 pirates and we have to complete eight expeditions this is going to take some time so i might have to do this over two days and then just uh, record it like that of course we also have to recruit three more pilots which is going to be able to do in a bit now the first thing we're going to be doing is go and finish the fleet expedition we send out one last time so let's open up the uh, command station here the brief commander and end expedition Let's just send out the next expedition here, just to make sure that we can have another one uh, added to that number. All right, so we have a um, balanced expedition right here. Let's take the one of the hour. It's going to be easier. Just send the hour one out here. Send this one. And that should give us another one star, one star. And let's just send it out. So this one should be done in an hour. All right, I think now we can warp to rendezvous number three. But I don't think we have any fuel anymore in our warp drive, so we're going to have to fuel that up. So we're going to use the warp cell again. Like last time I explained, we are not going to use the hypercore. We're going to keep that one for the final phase. Open the galactic map and let us warp to rendezvous number three. I'm just going to skip ahead to the point where we are at rendezvous three. You know how to do this. All right, we have arrived at Rendezvous 3, so let's go and talk with the commander here, which is going to give us the uh, next log. All right, so that gave us the uh, mission log. Let's uh, unlock this milestone as well. So next thing is reach Rendezvous number 3. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Let's just jump in our ship. Now, before we land, let's uh, go on this island here and let's see if I can shoot some pebbles and see if we can get some more ferrite, because that is definitely something we will be needing later on today. So, it seems like there's nothing on the sand platform, but there should be on the rocky surface. How much did we get? Okay, that's a good sum. That's all we need, because we will be needing some for a bit later. So, uh, let's uh, land close by. And once again, while we're at it, let's just uh, scan some uh, creatures as well. Don't forget, we have a whole bunch of creatures, minerals and uh, plants to scan. There should be a milestone somewhere nearby. There it is. A rendezvous number three. So that's finished. All right, now we've done that. Let's go to the space station and we need to go and purchase some materials. Right, while we are flying in, let's also unlock this one. This is going to give us some nanites, some inventory slots. It also is going to give us the stellar extractor room plants, which is nice. So that's going to be something we can use for building in a little bit later. So let's go to the um, trade terminal. We got some items to sell and we have to definitely check out uh, some things to purchase as well. The little chests here, let's sell that. Don't sell the crystal sulfide, we will need this still uh, all right, let's go and buy. Let's see, what do we have? Do you have chromatic metal? We don't. We need two microprocessors. Let's, so let's buy these. And uh, I'm, I'm going to buy the oxygen again. And I'm going to buy more ferrite tests. Just to be sure, because this is going to help us to uh, be sure that we have all the um, resources along the way. Let's see, any of the pilots. We're looking for chromatic metal. No chromatic metal here. Let's see who you are. Do you have any chromatic metal? There we are, chromatic metal. Okay, let's buy it all. We will need it. All right, now that we have the extractor room plants, that's what we're going to build first. We need magnetized ferrite, so that means we will have to refine some. As we have some pure ferrite somewhere here, let's just uh, put it in here. Create magnetized ferrite. We should have 40, so that should be enough. 
let's uh, build the or extract the room. All right. Now this is going to give us another milestone finished. Let's um, unlock this milestone. This is now going to give us the scanner room plants, which normally we should be able to build. We have the silver gold and the iron battery. So let's uh, do that as well. That's built as well. That's going to give us another milestone, which is now going to give us the galactic trade room plants. As you can see, we can build this one as well, as we already bought the chromatic metal and the microprocessor, and we did have enough silver already as well. But uh, the galactic trade terminal, we're going to build a little bit closer here. We're going to delete this one here. We're going to delete the storage room. We're going to replace that with the trade terminal, which should be here somewhere. There we go. And then we'll build the storage room back, but behind it. Now we built the galactic trade room. Then we can unlock this. This is going to give us some more rewards. All right, so now that we've done all of that, we have now to focus on recruiting three squadron members. So let's focus on that. But before we can do that, we have to unlock the squadron slots first. And for that, we need nanites. But as you can see, we have quite a lot of them because a lot of the milestones do give us the nanites we need. So let's just go into manage fleet, manage squadron. And now you can see we have a whole list of uh, slots here that are locked still. So we have to unlock them. The first one is going to cost us 800 nanites. The second one is going to cost us 3,500 nanites. And of course, we have one more. It's going to cost us 7,500. So that means that all my nanites have been spent onto that. All right, now that we have unlocked the slots, we can now travel back to the space station. So let's do that first and let's recruit some pilots. All right, let's have a chat with this guy here. Let's see. Recruit life form to squadron. S-Class? Oh my god. He has no luck, but he doesn't need any luck because he's outstanding. Did I just read he had a haunted stare as well? <laughs> oh, hello, games. Um, let's see. Is this going to be only shuttles? Am I really going to have to hire shuttles? I'm not really up for that. So let's see if anything else comes in. Rather a hauler than a shuttle. Uh, recruit a life form. A-Class. Why not recruit... All right, we have another one coming in here. Nice little explorer. It's pretty clean. Let's see what you are. This is going to be a B-class or a C-class, maybe. I don't know. Let's see, what is the ship? B-class? What is the... Ex Pilots, let's have a chat with you. Recruit life form to squadron. C-class. Non-existent fiscal responsibility. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's not bother about this. Let's just recruit the pilot. Always fires first. This is Han Solo. <laughs> Just noticed that. All right. We have done the three squadron pilots now. If we go into our um, mission here, you will see that we can unlock this. This is going to give us some uh, engines and things like that. Uh, I'm not too happy with the shuttle. We have 2.1 million. We have a few nice S-Class modules here that we could use, but I don't know. Wait, what's, what's up in the back there? Let's see. What are you? A class, two points. You know what? We might actually exchange it. Let's get rid of this shuttle and uh, see what this guy has here. Make an offer on the lifeform starship. Okay, negotiate price. Now we're going to move over everything from here to the. So uh, quick transfer, quick transfer, quick transfer. Can I destroy this? We can. Quick transfer, quick transfer, and then we're going to exchange it. So we're going to get a nice fighter instead of that ugly shuttle. So let's travel back to the freighter, take the teleporter, and let's focus on the next milestone. All right, now that we are here, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be traveling to the pilot system. And if you remember, the pilot system was in phase one. We found the pilot system right next to the starter system. So we go to space stations, we go and uh, teleport to the outlaw station. As you can see, there's a little skull here. That is where we're going. Now. If you look at our mission sheets, if we go here, you can see we need to shoot 16 pirates. Now, to get 16 pirates, you can either have a lot of expensive stuff in your inventory, but it can take a long time. You either can do a pirate battle by going to a system and warp in. Uh, but what we're going to do, let's see if this bounty master has some missions. Let's see. Hunt and destroy a pirate, which is going to give us a salvage frigate module. Let's uh, do that. Start the mission. Pulsing should pop it up there. All right. 
Now, to be honest, the, the weapon on this ship is not too amazing. I will have to upgrade it. So, um, let me uh, just skip this. You will guys, I'll see you back once I'm done with this uh, battle. There should be six pirates in this battle. And then after that, we're going to go and check and find some upgrades for this. Because it has to go a little bit quicker. All right, now that this mission is done, we can go back to the space station. So this is going to give us a uh, six pirates already, so we need to do another ten. So let's first of all finish this mission so we get the rewards. Hand in mission. Perfect. So now this is going to give us some money and a savage frigate module. We can um, sell this. What do we have here? So what I'm going to do, we're going to be selling these modules so I can get a little bit more um, nanites. And we're going to try to buy some Fulton Cannon. So let's first of all sell the Mining Beam modules. That should give us enough money to see what do we have. Do you have any Fulton? No. There's nothing you have here that could actually help me out. Well, that's disappointing. So you know what, let's travel back. 20 minutes later. All right, I ended up just by going back to another space station to be able to upgrade my modules because this was a little bit too risky. So as you can see now, we have way more uh, stopping power there. Now let's check for another mission. Uh, hunt down this one right here. That's uh, going a little bit quicker, isn't it? These squadron members, they can be okay, but they can be a pain in the butt. Anyway, let me kill off these pirates and I will be back when I'm done. So if we now go and check our milestones, you can see we have now done 12 of the 16. We still need to kill four more pirates, so we're gonna keep this aside for the moment. And what we're going to be focusing now is going to get some money, make some money as well. We have 1.2 million. We're going to buy all the stuff here and we're going to start selling it in a normal system. Come back here, buy more and just keep on selling that. So we have a good amount of money because we will have to start buying some more expedition fleets. So let's definitely buy all of this. Let's see if there are any pilots coming in that's going to sell a little bit more valuables. Nope. But it does have nip nip butts, so let's buy all the nip nip butts. I'm gonna leave this. This is too low value, so it doesn't make a big difference. Ah, nice. Let's buy all that. Let's buy at least all that. And now we should have like 38 left. That's good. All right. Let's um, save, first of all, just in case we have a crash. So let us travel back to our freighter. And now that we are on our freighter, we can now travel back to a regular space station. And the reason why we're jumping from the pilot station to my freighter and then from my freighter to a station is because we cannot do it straight away. We cannot jump from a pilot system to a normal system. So we need to make a little uh, stop in between. All right, let's uh, sell our stuff. So let's sell all the... Uh, banned goods the advantage of this is we also don't need to bother about having to fly and getting scanned by the authority so now we have 2.3 and we're going to do this over and over again so we're going to travel back to the freighter then back to the pirate system buy banned goods travel back to the freighter then back to the space station sell it and we're going to do this several times so that we can make some money and the advantage like i said is that because we're teleporting between these we don't have to fly, so we won't be scanned by the system's authorities. So we had 2.4 million when we started with this. Now we made ourselves 4.5 million, which is a nice little sum. Pretty easy and quick. Now, what are we going to be doing? Well, we just earned a milestone for 9 million, which is actually <laughs> a milestone for uh, phase 4. So for the people that are wondering how to get money, this is for phase 4. Um, so, we need still four more pirates and we need to complete eight expeditions. Now, for the people that are watching this guide, you don't need to do these expeditions all at once. You can take your time, you can do them over a few days. You just send some frigates out and then the next day you come back, collect the rewards and then send them out again. You can do this milestone easily over one to three days if you have the time for it. 
But I did make a more detailed guide about how to do these fleet expeditions during Expedition 8. If you want to check that out, I'm telling you a little bit of tips and tricks. Just check out the video either at the end of this guide or in the playlist. So uh, what? how can we get more pirates? Now, I think if I would go to my freighter and I move these here into my inventory, for example, this one has 600,000, so let's just move this to my exosuit. I think that will attract pirates even more when I'm flying around in there. So in the meantime, we can also fly around and recruit some frigates. All right, here we go. If you want to hire frigates, you will have to find a fleet like that. And you will see sometimes there's going to be an icon that pops up. And all the frigates with an icon, these are recruitable. This seems to be all explorer frigates. It seems like it. Seems like these are all explorer frigates. So let's just uh, inspect this one here. Uh, this is a C-Class, which is nice. I would advise you to not buy S-Class if you don't have the money. Like you see, I have only 4 million. This is going to cost us almost 2 million for that one. So if I buy this one, you see my money is already bye-bye. Um, now, let's see if I can find another one. I don't want to hire another explorer. Let's see, maybe that one has a, a trait or a combat one. Let's see, what do you have? These are support frigates, I would say. Anything else? Do you guys have anything else? Explorer, explorer, explorer. These are all explorers, so... Um, Alright, let's go for this one here. Let's go to this one down here. I think these are support frigates. Inspect frigate. And see what this is. C-class, two points. Okay, we can just buy this and then our money is going to be gone. So let's uh, just do that and then no more money. All right, so now that we have two more um, frigates, let's call in our freighter. So first of all, we will need to build two more fleet command rooms because we cannot send more frigates out than fleet command rooms. So we need at least two more fleet command rooms. For that, I'm going to need silver and tritium. All right, so I need more tritium and I will need dihydrogen to make frigate fuel as well. So that's something we're going to go and get. So let us just debrief this frigate here and then we can go to the space station and collect the materials we need. The brief commander it's gonna give some units which is nice some magna gold that's good as well there we go so now we actually did two expeditions already which is nice this is nice so we have two expeditions done we have to do still six more all right so what i'm gonna do we're gonna send out another frigate here and then we're gonna have to go and find some uh, tritium dihydrogen things like that because we definitely will need to send a few more out so a few potential expeditions um, we should have another one star, but that's an... Let's go here. There's a balanced expedition here. This is going to take four hours, but that's okay. Let's just send it out. So let's take one of our exploration ones here. That's going to cost us 50 ton. That's okay. Let's send them out. There we go. So now we send our third expedition frigate out. Let's save. So now what I'm going to be doing, we're going to go and collect some more tritium and more dihydrogen. So we're going to go to the space station and I'm pretty sure we can find some tritium there for sure. And maybe we can find some dihydrogen jelly as well. So if I can find tritium and dihydrogen jelly, that is going to get us a long way. As long as I find tritium, we should be okay because I can refine tritium to dihydrogen. Yeah, tritium, thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Stupid shuttle pilot. Tritium again. All right, let's buy the tritium. So we didn't find any dihydrogen jelly, but I have enough tritium to make it work. So let us travel back to our freighter. I'm going to have to do some refining first, and then we can start building our fleet command rooms. I wonder if I could find the hydrogen. What are you? Get back. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be any dihydrogen in here. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a whole bunch of tritium in here. Let's uh, take this and we're going to make ourselves 237 to start with. So we should be able to build now the fleet command room. We should be building one here. I'm going to build one here. There we go. That is now going to give us two locations to put two more frigates in there. So let's already take that and let's make ourselves one of these. 
and let's send out two more frigates. So we do have, I think, one exploration and one support now. So we're going to send one to here. Right here, we sent the um, science vessel there. Now, I know that this is not a, a mining tool, but that's okay. We have one star, one star. I'm going to send this on fuel. There's 100 tons of my fuel already gone. So let's just send that. So even if this mission fails, we will still have a completed milestone. So we can do the same here. Let's go to the trading. Let's add the um, support one, which is normally not what we need, but we can send this one as well. And that's another mission gone. All right, so now we have two done. And for the moment, we have three going on, which is good. That means now we should get five done in total. Uh, this is going to probably take another day. So that means I'm going to be back tomorrow to do this again. And then we'll be able to finish this video. So let us see if I can find four more pirates for the last milestone. And because the missions already were done on the previous pirate system, we can either wait until the next day and do that, or we can find ourselves another pirate system. So let me just go into the warp here. Let's go to the warp drive and uh, let's see if we have along the way we're traveling here a pirate system. Wait, was that a pirate system there? Oh, that's a pirate system here. So let's fly to here and let's do one more mission. So that's done as well. And let's see, let's, um, this one is going to give us a forged passport. That might actually be a good one. Oh, this one is even better. This is giving us three banned weapons and a forged passport. So let's just do that. Let's uh, kill some pirates. And in the meantime, also earn some money for uh, selling it in a normal system. All right, let's do that. There we go. Galactic Defenders shot down 16 pirates. All right, let's go back. That should be it now. So the only thing we need to focus on is now the expeditions. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow when I finished all the uh, expeditions. The next morning. So this should be the final expedition. Let's just end the expedition. And that should now give us, called by the stars, completed eight fleet expeditions. Now, if you check the uh, expedition, you can see we have now finished both the uh, pirates, which is going to give us some starship weaponry blueprints. Nice. Uh, it's going to also go and collect this one, which is going to give us more frigate fuel, which we don't need anymore now. And of course, the final patch of phase three, the one I have been looking forward most to, which are the flaming barrels and some more building parts. This is phase number three. I hope this was informative and helpful. Once again, if you need more information about the fleet expeditions, check out my other video. I think you will find this way more interesting than just what I showed here. Um, and also with a little bit of an exploit where you can actually, you know, speed it up a little bit. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. See you again for phase four very soon. And um, yeah, good luck with your expedition as well. So anyway, thanks. See you later. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now. Look like Corvax even waving as well. Thanks. <laughs>